Welcome again to Life in the God Lane. I'm Tom West. This is a power verse for the day for March the 20th, 2022. I call it Dead and Alive. It's from Romans 8, verse 10. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the bell so you get notified every time I roll one of these out. I put one out every day. Uh, give me thumbs up, make comments, share this video with someone else. It could be life-changing for them, and I hope it's a blessing uh, to you. Did you know, and this is wild, but as a Christ follower, you are dead and alive at the same time. Now, that's, I know that's wild, but it's true. Romans 8 verse 10 talks about that. And it says this, but... If Christ is in you, your body is dead because of sin, yet your spirit is alive because of righteousness. See, notice that the verse begins with the phrase, but if Christ is in you, that's a big old chunk of verbiage right there. But if Christ is in you, there are two kinds of people on earth, only two, those who have Christ in them and those who do not have Christ in them. We need more folks on earth with Christ in them. If you have Christ, you are a Christ follower, a Christian. And if that's the case, you're dead and alive at the same time. That's what this verse talks about. Verse 10 says that your body is dead because of sin. Here's how that works. Before Adam and Eve sinned, their bodies did not have death in them. And they would, they would have just kept on living. But death entered the picture when they sinned. At that point, death entered the picture. But when they sinned, death came into their body. And since then, all people's bodies die at some point. If they had never sinned, that would not be the case. But they did, and we do. So our bodies are dead because of sin. But notice, and then here's where the good news kicks in. Notice that your spirit is alive because of righteousness. As a Christ follower, his righteousness, not yours, his righteousness is transferred to you and your spirit is alive and will never stop living because of his righteousness. The day will come when your body will go the way of all the earth and die. It happens to all of us. Why? Because all our bodies are dead because of sin's effect on us and in us. When your body dies, your spirit lives because of Christ's righteousness in you. It comes to live in you in the person of the Holy Spirit and grants you his righteousness. You are righteous before God and that grants you life. Your spirit moves out of your dead body and goes to rest with the Lord until his return. When you get a new body, at the day of the Lord. That's what happens to you when you die. And Christ comes back, you get a new body that's eternal. It'll never die. Until then, you rest with the Lord. You don't ever die. Your spirit keeps on living, just goes to live with the Lord. My dad passed away on February 12th, 1997, a long time ago. An hour before his memorial service, I identified his body prior to cremation. And, uh, then I went to the service and all I could do was cry. I love my dad, he's a good man. Uh, wh when I looked at my dad's body, I can still quote what I said. I said, that's where dad used to live. That's where dad used to live. His body quit, but he continued to live because his spirit is alive because of Christ's righteousness. He just moved out and went to be with the Lord. That's how it works. If you belong to Christ, this is really important. Do not fear death. Why? Because your spirit lives. Your spirit is ultimately where your life is. And it lives because of Christ's righteousness, no matter what happens to your body. And your body's going to die. But your spirit will live. Your life will not end. It just continues to, with the Lord. Nothing can take your life because Christ is in you. You just live. Don't fear death. Hope that's encouraging to you. I will see you tomorrow.